Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Paul, the Canadian Snowman, or I should say, like, welcome to my channel for the first time. For those of you new, uh, uh, yes, we're going to do, um, I'm going to end up doing this whole li list of miscellaneous myths, I'm sure, uh, but I just slowly go through them, you know, when, when I have time. It's not like a regular thing I do, but we're on, we do, what do we do? Uh, who do we do? Perseus? Who do, who do we do before here? Let me just, do, do, do. Yeah, Perseus. We did Perseus about a week ago. Now we're at Icarus, which I had no clue about. I said for really, Icarus has wings because I, I like to put an image over here. And then when I searched it, I just seen a bunch of images of guys with wings. So I'm guessing his superpower. I don't know. I feel like I'm, this is like X Men in my like last video. And this, I don't know, this looking up like. I don't know, like powers here, you know, like superhero kind of stuff here. But, you know, it's miss. It's a, uh, you know, stuff. You know, just cool. I think there's cool stuff from the past that I really don't know much about or anything I really at all about that uh, I've always kind of had an interest in and be kind of cool to learn more about. And uh, these videos are kind of fun, you know, and, yeah, you know, they're short, so it's just easy to get into. And, yeah, you just watch it. And learn some stuff real quick about uh, these. I never even heard this name before. Like I've heard of Perseus before, never heard of Icarus before. So, anyways, please hit that like and subscribe button below. It helps me out a lot. And let's jump into this. Do, do, do. For those of you who are new here, I do a lot of geography videos and like war videos. Definitely check out those playlists if that interests you. But anyways, yep. Why is this screen smaller than other screens? Uh, why do I have it starting on a commercial? Lent excellence. Sorry, I really am sorry. I, 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 I would have totally like played through this already. It's always fun when a myth gets co-opted by popular culture as a universal symbol of something or other. The Achilles heel is a metaphor for a single fatal weakness. David and Goliath to represent the archetypal underdog story. Cut Achilles heel. I never knew it. No idea. About, I hope they actually have that uh, coming up here on this list because I don't never knew why they call it Achilles heel. So. That'll be interesting to find out, but obviously he can only hurts his heel, but anyways, that's the future video, I guess. But anyways, yeah. Achilles' heel is a metaphor for a single fatal weakness, David and Goliath to represent the archetypal underdog story. Cutting the Gordian knot to mean taking the brute force solution, Pandora's box is now the catch-all name for any kind of sealed evil in a can. And possibly the most commonly known example would be Icarus flying too close to the sun. Now the context for this story is more complicated than this. Icarus, Icarus, flying too close to the sun, never heard of that at all. Like this is, t that's definitely new to me, so. I'm kind of curious to how, like, because there's always cool stories behind it. This is what I love about this. There's stories behind it. And usually a lot of them are pretty dark. Not a lot. I mean, I've only watched one episode, but, you know, they're myths. I'm sure, you know, like the Medusa and stuff, you know, it's, uh, this dark stuff, right? I mean, they don't, they don't, these myths aren't from, uh, you know, funny comics or anything from the past. I mean, they're like kind of, they're kind of taken for real, real back in the day, you know, as real things that happen. Most commonly known example would be Icarus flying too close to the sun. Now the context for this story is more complicated than the story itself because it ties in with a different myth, the story of Theseus and the Minotaur. I'll go into more detail later, but the relevant backstory here is that King Minos commissioned Daedalus to build him a labyrinth to imprison the Minotaur, and then used his fancy labyrinth to kill people he didn't like. But in order for this to work, nobody could learn how the labyrinth itself worked, so he imprisoned Daedalus and his son Icarus in a tower so they could never reveal its secrets. So Daedalus and Icarus are stuck in a tower, and they can't leave by land or by sea because Minos keeps track of all transport. But Daedalus is a brilliant inventor, so of course he's gonna come up with something. So Daedalus constructs wings for himself and Icarus, made of feathers and wax. Oh. And before you ask, no they don't work in real life. Trust me, I've tried. So Daedalus and Icarus strap the wings on, but Daedalus warns Icarus to be careful. If he flies too low, the sea spray will make the wings too heavy to fly, and if he flies too high, the heat from the sun will melt the wax and make the wings fall apart. If so I beg, yeah, apparently he goes too high, apparently. But that's kind of, I just want to say, okay, so it's already like a cool story. They had to make the maze, and obviously no one didn't want anyone to know how to get out of the maze, you know, or, or whatnot, how the maze works. So they lock him away. This is already pretty cool, man. These stories, dude. What are these stories? Like, what year do these stories come from? Like, what's the, I guess, where are the origins of this? Like, how long have these stories been known about? Like, a couple thousand years longer? Maybe 3,000? I don't know. 
Sea spray will make the wings too heavy to fly, and if he flies too high, the heat from the sun will melt the wax and make the wings fall apart. If you're looking for symbolism, you can think of this as warning Icarus against both complacency and hubris. Flying too low will make him lose the ability to fly at all, but flying too high will make him crash and burn. But Icarus is a teenager, so of course as soon as they get flying, he immediately does that thing where he thinks he's immortal because he hasn't been alive long enough for anything really bad to happen to him, so he starts flying higher and higher. The heat from the sun melts the wax, and Icarus's wings fall apart. So Icarus falls into the ocean and drowns, which sucks, but on the plus side, it gave us a kick-ass metaphor for the folly of pride and a really good line in a Hamilton song. I'm, I'm going to end up having to mute this song just because of copyright reasons, I'm sure. Wow. This is it? Okay, I guess this is it. I'm, I don't want to get copyright for this song, so... Okay. All right, wow. I'm so used to have doing long videos that uh, I forgot how short this one was. Uh, I, I scrolled through the videos before, and I, I think this was like one of the shorter ones. You know, I mean, they're all kind of short, but wow. So there you have it. When I paused it before, it's pretty much the story. Yeah, he flies too high because he thinks he's invincible because he's a kid and thinks he's, I guess, better than anybody else and won't die. And yeah, he ends up falling into the water and drowning. I mean, he probably would have died anyway. Just from the impact, if you were that high up, it would have been like hitting concrete, you know? So, I mean, she probably just died by impact anyway, but this is a, this is a myth anyway. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. It's a myth, you never know. It, it could be true, right? This stuff, this would, it would, I guess this would be a lot more cooler if stuff like this did happen. But anyways, guys, please hit that like and subscribe button below. Let me know. Uh, I'm like curious to know, like, people who have actually know this, did, where do you learn it from? Did you just learn it from, like, history class or... Just kind of stuff in the Bible or something. I, I kind of curious, like where people learn this stuff, like where you're from and how did you learn it? I'd really like to know that. That'd be really curious and cool to find out, you know, where people learn this stuff. But anyways, guys, you guys have a great night, great day. And okay, Icarus. All right, dude, you're the guy with the wings who got burned up by the sun. Mental note. Anyways, guys, peace. Catch you guys in future videos. You guys are awesome. Man, I have here. Woohoo!